Hey guys, we are off on another adventure. This time, my family and I are going on a plane ride to Boracay. We were supposed to have a trip to Singapore back in 2020, but due to the pandemic, that trip was cancelled. We recently converted the Singapore tickets to a Boracay one, and this trip is our first trip outside of our island of Luzon. In this video, I will show you how to get to Boracay and the documents that are required. Please do take note that this trip was on June 24, 2022. Follow my other socials on Instagram at Technica Media, on Facebook at Technica underscore Media. To get started, what you will need are the following. First, you need to have valid IDs or passport. Second, a round-trip plane ticket to and from Boracay. Third, hotel accommodations. Fourth, S-Pass registration. Five, health declaration from tourismboracay.com. And lastly, vaccine cards for the fully vaccinated RT-PCR test for the partially vaccinated and non-vaccinated guests with the extraction date of under 72 hours from the time of your flight. I'll be assuming that you have all the requirements except for the S-Pass registration and health declaration from touristboracay.com. To get your S-Pass, you need to go to s-pass.ph and register for an account. You can register by using either your phone number or your email address. Follow the instructions on how to register until you finish. Once done, you need to verify the current restrictions to Boracay from Manila. You can do this by checking the restrictions in SPAS. Enter here the city that you will visit. For Boracay, be in Malay and click the check restriction button. Please take note of the LGU travel policy table as this will determine if additional requirements are needed. Once clicked, it will show the following results. You click Malaya Plan, it will expand to show the details of the restriction. As you can see, the policy is unrestricted. This means no TCP or travel coordination permit needed. Click View Details, then click touristboracay.com. From the touristboracay.com, click the Boracay button for tourist. Here, you will need to enter your details. At the bottom, you need to provide all the following documents. ID or passport, booking details, round trip ticket details, vaccine or RT-PCR details. Once done, it will take you to a page and that will serve as your health declaration card. The most important thing here is the QR code generated. We booked our flight via Cebu Pacific. On the day of your flight, you can either have your boarding pass printed in advance or have it printed here by the kiosk before the check-in luggage counter. If you did not avail of a check-in luggage, you can go directly to the gate for boarding. At the gate, you'll be asked for your boarding pass and valid ID or passport.
we arrived at the Katikulan Airport. From here, you can arrange for transfers to Boracay from the boots on our right. But it's a bit expensive, so we opted to take a tricycle going to the jetty port. We got stickers from this booth and made our way to the tricycle terminal. At the terminal, just show your sticker to the cashier and pay for your ride. The fare is for 50 pesos per person with a max of 2 person per tricycle. At the jetty port, you need to get verified first. Ready your tourist Boracay QR code and present it to the QR code scanning and verification counter. After getting verified, you can proceed to the ticketing booth. You need to pay first for the terminal fee, which amounts to 100 pesos. Then the environmental fee for 150. And finally, for the boat fare. For 50 pesos. Head on to the gate and proceed to get your seat number from these gentlemen here. At the Boracay port, we caught an e-trike. We chose to catch the special trip. The fare is for 150 pesos. You can get a cheaper e-trike if you take the public one. The fare will depend on your destination and it should be cheap. Thank you for watching my video. The next video will be our day one and day two of our Boracay vacation. Hope to see you next time.